So we, got, we gather this uh, Sunday on this uh, beautiful shrine of the fifth apparition of uh, Mary of Blessed Mother of Guadalupe. Nos reunimos esta mañana en este santuario de la quinta aparición para la celebración de la Eucaristía en este domingo 15 del tiempo ordinario. Uh, we know the story of uh, how uh, during the apparitions of Our Lady of Guadalupe to Saint Juan Diego, one of the times he was worried about his uncle, Juan, Bernard Juan Bernardino, and uh, uh, because he was very sick, and he was looking, he was going to Mexico City, Juan Diego, to find a priest uh, for the uh, uh, anointing of the sick. And then Mary, a blessed mother, appeared to him and told him, don't worry about it, I'll take care of it, basically. She didn't say that, obviously, uh, but uh, that's the uh, summary of this story of what we are, uh, this beautiful shine that we are in today. And I was thinking that one of the first things that can help us today uh, in our reflection on this uh, Sunday uh, is uh, that what happened to Juan Diego on that day is what happens to most of us many times in our lives. We're worried about things that happen at home with our families, and sometimes we just want to get it done and do things and go away and go and find the, the uh, physical or material solution of what our concern is. It can be an illness, it can be uh, just a concern that we have about somebody in our family. And I think we all have to always remember that probably the first thing that we should do is go to Mary, our Blessed Mother, that she can intercede for that specific person that we are worried about to really address the situation that we are uh, concerned about. Yo creo que es muy importante eso, que lo que le pasó a San Juan Diego sea un ejemplo para nosotros de acudir siempre a la Santísima Virgen que va a interceder <coughs> con Dios nuestro Señor para que nuestras preocupaciones uh, se eh, resuelvan. So, let's ask for that grace today. Especially that in our heart should be always the trust that God is with us. <coughs> and uh, the powerful intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother. Then in the beautiful passage of the Gospel of today's Mass, we see that uh, parable that we know well, the parable of the Good Samaritan. And it is a story about Christian love and compassion. It is a reminder that everyone is our neighbor. Everyone, every one of us is worthy of our love, our compassion. In a sense, I think what Alisa was thinking is that uh, that the understanding that we are, in a way, responsible for one another. We are brothers and sisters. Sometimes, it's, uh, as Pope Francis was saying this morning, when we, so, we see somebody in need, sometimes our first reaction is to say, well, that's not my problem. That's not what I'm supposed to do. But what Pope Francis was saying this morning, what we need to do is to see in that person in need, whatever the situation is, our brother or our sister. Yes, it might be true that we cannot solve the problems of that specific person, but as we see in the parable of the Good Samaritan, uh, uh, we all should feel that responsibility for the people around us, for everyone. Uh, and maybe a practical thing that we can do is always pray for that person. Make sure when we somebody who is uh, homeless, or somebody who is an extraordinary need, or somebody that we just cross by with. So it's important for all of us to pray for one another. Then another beautiful uh, 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 reflection that we can uh, have today is uh, I noticed that uh, uh, in, the, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, uh, the one who was uh, passing through was moved with compassion at the side. 
Cuando lo vio, se compadeció. That's beautiful. Not even talking to the person. Not even just seeing. And I think for us, when uh, we see people in need, that should make a, uh, 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 we should have a special reaction to that. We don't know to, we don't need not to know exactly what's happening. I think just looking at the person, knowing that that person is my brother or my sister, that makes a big difference. Then we can care about people no matter what. Then we can see that uh, uh, God loves each one of us. And in the same way that we can think about that person is loved by God, we can also reflect that God loves me personally in an extraordinary way. So and as we do that, we also need to reflect on how Mary, our Blessed Mother, is with us all the time. In the same way that she was taking care of St. Juan Diego, she's taking care of each one of us. Nuestra Madre Santísima de Guadalupe siempre está con nosotros, como lo reflexionamos ayer en la Basílica de Guadalupe. In the same way that we were thinking yesterday about that beautiful uh, uh, image of our Blessed Mother that looks at us in an extraordinary way, we should also feel that love every single moment of our lives. And then at the end of the passage of today's Gospel, the parable of the Good Samaritan, in the conversation that Jesus has with that man, at the end he, he, tells, he tells him, go and do likewise. So that's the mission that we have, to go out and share the beauty, the gospel, the life and teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ with every single person that we meet. So as we uh, come close to the uh, conclusion of our pilgrimage after uh, this beautiful weekend, I think it's important for us, first, to always feel the love of God and the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother. No matter what, God is there, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mary is there with her powerful intercession. She's our mother, and no matter what, she's there for us. And then, together with that, we also need to feel that same responsibility of loving one another and going out of our way to try to make life better for the people around us. That's what our Christian faith is all about. And that's what I think for all of us as we come to this uh, pilgrimage, it's always important to reflect on and ask for the grace that we can be really men and women of faith and men and women of mercy. Mercy is what makes the difference in our lives. You know, sometimes when I talk to young people, I always remind them that what makes us really happy is not just to take care of ourselves, but to make other people happy, to love one another. So today, let us especially ask Mary, our Blessed Mother, for her, for her intercession, that we all, with the help of the grace of God, try to imitate the mercy of the Good Samaritan, that we really be uh, people that love God and love one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.